Hey YouTube, back in the woods on a video, I uh, went home and sat down in my easy chair and I got kind of thinking, you know, uh, well first of all, I'm uh, puffing on my Dunhill shell, nice little pipe, and in it I've got a uh, Haunted Bookshop. Uh, got a couple more bolts left of it. I've been trying to <laughs> save it. But, oh, it's good stuff. Anyways. Got home and I got sitting there in the chair and thinking about what I was saying earlier. You know, about the song Monster. And about, you know, how you know there's a monster in all of us monster in me I know you know that uh, that judgmental uh, hateful not caring you know just that monster that, that lives down inside you know when I uh I try, you know, for a long time I lived, I lived with that monster, you know, he's, you know, we all do, we all have that second, that, that two face, there's what's inside us, you know, and then, then there's what we allow people to see, and, uh, I was watching Philadelphia with Tom Hanks last night, and um, I guess it's probably what brought all this on. And uh, man, I tell you, there's a monster inside of me that really wants me to hate anything that's not like me. Uh, and you know, I, I I went to two years of Bible college right out of high school 1989 to 91 I went to St. Louis Christian College man I was on fire for God like you would not believe uh, and there's a part in there that um, there's a guy I guess he's a preacher of some sort yells at Tom Hanks he's he Tom Hanks plays as a, a homosexual that he's he's dying of AIDS and uh, you know, he yells out that that old saying that I remember. I, I told I told the kids it was a saying back in the '80s. You know, Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. And um, for some reason, I believe that. You know, I believe that God, you know, created us to to have a wife or a husband. You know, to to have children. To you know. But man, for some reason, that just really, uh, that really got to me. I didn't like to hear it. And back in those days, I used to say it. Um, so, it's really kind of hard to determine what is the monster sometimes and which one's not. Um, but, um, and, you know, I'm not trying to, you know, condone that lifestyle. I'm not. But... Man, who, you know, who am I to to judge? You know, I I've got my, I've got you know sins in my life too, and I'm not a perfect person. I uh, there's no greater sin, I believe. Uh, they're all, uh, you know, God hates them all, and I know that. Um, you know, in some some religions, you know, sins are there. You know, they classify, they try to classify sins, and and what's what's uh, aggravating with me uh, to me is is um, I hear a lot here lately about preachers, you know, saying that um, that they're that homosexuals and and that you know. They're wanting to get married, 
and uh, I hear preachers talking about uh, the sanctity of marriage and how they're trashing the sanctity of marriage and then they'll go turn around and and uh, cheat on their wife or something like that and man in my opinion uh, they're the ones that's that's um, trashing the sanctity of marriage you know it's uh, should excuse me <coughs> should they um, get married I'm not gonna say one way or the other I um, all I know is is you know that hatred that we have not just towards um, gays and, and lesbians but um, if they're different than us man we just want to you know different color different everything uh, man that monster comes out in me a lot and I have to be honest um, this is almost like confession <laughs> but uh yeah it, it rears its its ugly head sometimes even even now in my you know I'm 45 years old and, and um, man I uh, I'm just glad that I, I was able to you know find the light find that peace uh, I struggled you know between right and wrong for a long time um, and, and I finally just gave it up to God and said, you know what, I, uh, I was never so happy, you know, to be able to just, you know, find that light, find, you know, the best way I can describe it is, uh, a lot of times we'll run out of bulbs. I mean, we're a household of six, uh, we go through light bulbs, light bulbs and toilet paper for some reason <laughs> we can't keep. But um, a light bulb will go out in a in a room, and we've been in this apartment for 12 years. I know this, you know, every room by heart. But for some reason, when that light bulb's not there, I go to flip flip, uh, flip on that light. It's dark as could be in there, and like I said, I know that room like the back of my hand, but I still stumble around and can't find things and I'm lost you know but then when I get the light bulb in I can see everything and I'm not tripping over anything I'm not you know uh, everything is just so easy I can see it uh, and that's how that's how it is whenever we um, we our lives it's like um, when we're, we're when we're allowing that monster to just take over our life and uh, that hatred sets in that that no good I'm gonna cuss that no good bastard just takes over your life and um, man it's like you get blinders and you just can't see anymore but whenever you're able to just turn on the light and say man I'm tired of feeling this way I'm tired of, of living my life like this find that light man uh, you'll find out that it was you know you'll you'll just find out the truth you'll know where everything is you'll want to live in the light you'll want you don't want to live in the darkness you don't want that monster to ever you know come back and that's how it was I mean I spent a long time even in the church even in the church and this now listen even in the church I lived as I lived a monster's life um, I don't go that much anymore um, I don't go to church that often but I'm always I'm always praising God. I'm always pray, uh, praying. And I'm telling you, I feel a lot more in the light these days than I ever did, even when I was in Bible college. Um, 
wisdom and just listen you know wisdom listen to what I'm saying think about what I'm saying have you a pipe today sit down I'm gonna light this back up a nice a nice blend and uh, relax and just think about what I said uh, man I'm telling you that uh that monster he still wants to get out sometimes but um, I'm so glad that I found the light Well, I'm going to sit back here in this beautiful woods and uh, where I was is I took over the circle. Hmm. This is where I find the peace and quiet. It's back here in this woods. Uh, you guys have you a pipe, have you a cigar, and uh, cage that monster. You guys have a good day. Keep her smoking.